What is up, Cowboys Nation? Mike Tag here. Hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I appreciate all the great subscribers and all the new subscribers that we have on this channel. Just got a whole bunch of them this past uh, couple days with some of the videos we dropped. So definitely appreciate the support. If you are a Cowboys fan and you're checking this channel out for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We've got a lot of great stuff going on and it's feeling good with these Cowboys winning a couple games in a row getting healthier. You see what Parsons can do. I mean, he's a one-man wrecking machine, overshown. He is just becoming a star right before our very eyes, just continuing to make plays. Bland is back. Now we got a little what we call mini-buy, get things ready for Monday night, bring on the Cincinnati Bengals. They've got a really good offense. Defense not so good, so it's another opportunity for the, guy, the Cowboys to string some more victories together and help. more help could be on the way. Micah Parsons kind of mentioned Tank Lawrence may be back for the Bengals game. So this defense that was so decimated is finally starting to become healthy. And if you get Diggs back, now you got Bland, J. Lou. I mean, we're putting together uh, a nice formidable defense for this stretch run that we have. And I know Team Tank is not happy about what's going on right now. But if you guys follow me enough, you know I'm never about Team Tank, man. I want to win. It feels good to win. It made Thanksgiving even better. Last week beating Washington was even sweeter. So never, never not going to want to win. And if you look at the Cowboys schedule, they, you know, they play one, one team with a winning record, and that's the Eagles. And, you know, take those five turnovers. The defense held their own against them. I don't think Barkley got over 100 yards. Hurts didn't really do a whole lot, so it's not going to be a, it's not going to be an easy task by any stretch. But it's an opportunity. Plus, you don't know where Philly's going to be at that point in the season with the next to last game there. So the Cowboys are getting an opportunity to make a playoff push. Odds stacked against them. Make no mistake about it. Being five and seven, they almost have to go perfect or maybe just drop one game and, of course, get some help along the way. But if you guys uh, listen to the channel enough, you know that I'm not a big believer in Washington. I think they're a nice team, but I think they're going to be free-falling a little bit more and coming back to the pack. Um, and you saw what happened with Chicago. So you, you, you've you got some teams that are ahead of Dallas that are slowly kind of creeping themselves back over the last few weeks. So it's a, it's a long shot, but... Hey, man, I just love the Cowboys at least getting back into that win column, at least making you feel good with that home victory. It's hard to imagine. It, it, it's been almost uh, getting close to a year <laughs> since the Cowboys saw a victory at AT&T back in, in December when Detroit Lions, uh, when we retired or put Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor to get him up there finally. We thought we broke the curse, but maybe we started a curse, but maybe now... We broke it again on Thanksgiving with that win against the Giants. So definitely good days for the Cowboys. It's going to be a good weekend, stress-free weekend watching these games, seeing what's going to happen within our conference. You saw the game last night with Green Bay and Miami. Green Bay looks like they're just going to continue to roll. So, you know, for the Cowboys, again, odd stock stacked against them, but you never know. You know, that's why they play the game. That's why you just kind of let the season play itself out and see what happens. So anyway, you're talking to a happy Mike Tag. You're talking to a happy Mike Tag. See this team winning back-to-back -back games. Now we go for three in a row, which hasn't happened this season. We got a little spoiled the last few years. But with the injuries that have taken place, getting guys back, Brandon Cooks, can't say enough about him. Key catches in key moments. We definitely miss that. He's back. CeeDee Lamb. Hurt his shoulder, aggravated it again. Didn't come back in the game, but again, with this mini buy, I think you're going to get him back, obviously, on the field. So the offense, aside from, from Dak Prescott, is pretty much going to be back to normal. You'll get some of the linemen back, but I have to say this. You see the replacements with Bass. You see Hoffman. You see these guys coming in, and you're getting this running game going. So maybe a little spark, a little youth, a little hunger in here doesn't hurt either. So you're seeing Rico kind of get things going. And I've been very critical of the Cowboys in their running game. But I've got to say over the last couple of weeks, they've shown something. Now they got to do it over a period of time. Obviously, we can't just look at the last two games as the measuring stick. But the Cowboys got to continue 
continue to be able to run the football because with Cooper Rush, you're limited. He's If you give him time, and the Cowboys offensive line has been able to give him some time, he can, you know, he can kind of pick you apart methodically down, down the field. Not going to get the huge plays, but, you know, get that running game going. That's going to set up the pass, and that's going to get more opportunities for C.D. Lamb. Schoonmaker's playing well, but we'll get Ferguson back as well. But that is just another added bonus. You get Schoonmaker, who looks like he's starting to really get things going. You bring in Ferguson, now you got two solid tight ends that you can count on to to help in that offense. So it's, it's you know, like I said, man, I'm not trying to sell you on it because the Cowboys, we got... We got some work to, you know, we got some work to do to get back in this thing, but they're five and seven and not a lot of people a few weeks ago, myself included, you know, we, we were wondering if they're going to, if they're going to win another game. So it's definitely good to see this team show some life because at the end of the day, you're looking for the future as well. You want to see who the players are. We want to see who the quitters are, who are the ones who are going to go all in, who are the ones that are ready you know, to put stuff aside and try and get some wins together and play with some heart and pride. And I think you're starting to see that. So I've been excited. I've been happy. Uh, you know, the whole team tank thing, like I said, it, it, you know, you draft where you draft. Let the season play itself out. Figure out where you draft and capitalize on the draft picks that you get. And that's the Cowboys have done a pretty good job in the draft. There's no guarantees of what drafting in the top 10 is going to get you. It's like I said before, I think the bottom half of the draft is probably has a higher success rate in the NFL than the top end of the draft. So I don't have the evidence to prove it. It's just kind of a gut feeling, but we'll see what happens. So you guys enjoy the weekend. Just wanted to just drop a quick little video. Hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We got college football coming up, you know, rivalry weekend, Michigan, Ohio State. You got to think Ohio State's going to put them on a pretty good You've got, obviously, not a rivalry, but McCain's going up to Syracuse. They have got to win this game. This game is so important for the Hurricanes. They can go, go to the playoffs, or they're going to be out of everything, all in one game. So Syracuse is going to be coming like a bowl game, like a playoff game for them. So Miami's got to start fast and, and just put them away early and don't give them the opportunity to give them any life, to get them any pressure. So Texas, Texas A&M, that's going to be a great one. Auburn, Alabama, you, you know, you never know what's going to happen there. So it's a, it's a great weekend for football. You got football today with the Chiefs and Raiders. You got nice college slate on Saturday. You got some on Sunday. You got some on Monday. I mean, there's like five days of football. So nothing, nothing better to, to do during the Thanksgiving break. Watch some football and enjoy yourself. Spend time with the family and just feel good about your Dallas Cowboys. Feel good that they're showing some life. They're showing they're not quitters. They're showing they're going to continue to fight to the end. Going to get healthier. That's going to help this team. And I'm feeling pretty good about these Dallas Cowboys. So I appreciate it. Thank you again to all the subscribers. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. It just lets you know, be part of the Cowboys K family. It's growing and growing every week. And the channel would not be here if it weren't for you guys. So definitely appreciate it. We'll be live on Monday to recap everything in football for the weekend. So make sure you hit that alert bell so you do not miss that live show. And also, you see your boy drops in every now and then, dropping some video, dropping some what's going on. So always want to hit that alert bell so you know what's going on. So appreciate it, Cowboys Nation. Have a great Friday. And if I don't talk to you before Saturday, have a great weekend. Take care.